Hello, this is Mike of Nearly Enough Dice, and this is the Kerbal Space Program. I have basically made what I think is going to be my Moon Rocket. I've completely redesigned the top bit. Uh, I've done a fair amount of testing actually on it. Um, <clears throat> what I've done is I've made a separate return stage because I've remembered that you can do science and then go into the crew hatch and then take the science back. So there's a separate return stage which is... wait, 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 where, are we where am I going, where am I going? So this is a return stage from there on up. Then there's the lander stage which is these three things and this materials bay which has got it's got two goo because otherwise it would be unbalanced it also has a thermometer so I can the, it's all positioned down there so that uh, my pilot can get down get down onto the ground and then and get access to the scientific experiments um, And get back up. And I've, I've actually done testing. I've done testing to make sure that it will it will flat fly straight, that the ladder will allow you to or the Kerbin to get up and bend down again. So that's all cool. Uh, this is the the transfer stage. There's a rocket in there somewhere uh, underneath that bit, I should think. Uh, so these two tanks plus a rocket engine. That's the transfer stage. So once you get into orbit. And this is my orbital stage. This uh, is using the first of the big Rockamax bits. Uh, da, 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 da. So that's the what? What's the, the radius? It tells me the radius there. It doesn't tell me the. Happy of these things. It doesn't actually say. The whacking great big kind of Rockamax type um, ones. So I'm using these things here. So they're nice and big. Um, so that's the first time we've used any of those. Uh, oh, this looks to be a, a different version. That's interesting. I must not have saved a certain version. This version has a slight problem. Uh, in that it will not actually take off. There's not enough thrust. So I'm just gonna... Oop. Uh, so there's a kind of asparag asparagus staging -y thing going on here. Don't know why I didn't say that. So these outer tanks, uh, these outer engines actually feed into uh, this big one so when um, I get to when these run out <coughs> and I eject although this engine will this center engine will have been burning the whole time um, I can then chuck these tanks and the center engine will be nice and full so let's give it a go let's see what happens and I've done all the calculations and according to all the calculations I've done uh, this should all work lovely um, I've done a very brief test, and I can't remember why. Yeah, I remember why I didn't finish. Um, I actually recorded or attempted to record an episode on this, uh, but it stopped. Uh, my it actually didn't record. I got a blank screen instead of um, everything actually working. Uh, so throttle up, uh, check staging, which I should have already checked, uh, and then those are going to chuck. And then that that sh I should be in orbit by the time we get to to chuck this one. So I may actually just separate out. There you go. Um, that should other uh, so that should separate when I get into moon orbit. I then land with that. I then start my return journey with that. 
and then when I get to atmosphere, I just chuck down and they'll, they'll come down on the parachutes. So this is actually, I've done a lot of testing on this beast. Um, so I've tested the parachutes and I've tested, you know, that it will go straight up and down and all that kind of stuff. Of course, it's a ridiculously not aerodynamic thing. I mean, it's just, it's just absurd. But the game does not currently take any of that into any of those kind of aerodynamic things. It just doesn't care. So let's go. It's a bit wobbly. <laughs> it's a bit wobbly. Um. <clears throat> So there we go. Uh, as you can see, these these tanks are draining away, but these ones are staying nice and, and full. So off we go. Just trying to tip over a little bit. Apparently the, the, the nomenclature uh, gravity turn is not in fact correct when people talk about the gradual you know, changing of your, your inclination as you go up. That is not in fact gravity turn. Uh, a gravity turn is where you have fins on the back end and a relatively top heavy uh, front end. And so gravity pulls you down, but the fins keep you straight, and it's the combination of those two I mean that you, you do that lovely smooth glidey turn without actually having to touch the controls. It was kind of impressive. So uh, you can see it's all going a bit peak tall. I'm getting a, a little unstable here, so maybe I could have put some. Uh, I've got a lot of. I've got some rolls, so maybe I needed to um, do something about that. Ooh, that mm, something exploded. It's probably probably nothing we need to worry about. I'm just going to adjust. Uh, now I, I, I can go into here, I can see what's going on, bring up the nav ball. I don't know why the nav ball isn't enabled by default. So I'm a little bit off equatorial, not that it matters. Right, I need to be a bit more steeply inclined, or shallowly inclined. Basically, my uh, my ascent is a bit um, steep at the minute. Tons of fuel. So this stage, uh, the point, purpose of this stage is to get me out of the atmosphere and into orbit. So I should end up with a nice circular orbit by the end of this. There you go. Uh, you know, I've had, I've, I've. It's not as fast as some. I really should have put parachutes on those things. Anyway, um, taking a little longer than I'm used to to get to orbit, but that's not the relevant. That's not actually the relevant thing. Is do I get to orbit at all? That's what matters. So I'm going to keep going until I get above. My apoapsis is. is a, about 100k, that's going to be my parking orbit. Uh, which we're getting there very soon. There you go. Uh, nothing's moving. 
trying to maneuver myself. Right, I probably should have built some reaction wheels in or something because this is a great big enormous thing. Um, so there we go. And uh, going to want to. I think I'm just going to be brave. I'm just going to do this by eye. Uh, so I'm going to get to um, Apoapsis. Well, no, maybe. No, I, uh, I'm not going to be brave at all. I, in fact, can be a coward. That's okay. Cowards live longer. Uh, right, that'll do. We'll certainly use the other end. Yeah, the other end's above the atmosphere, that's all that really matters. Uh, the main reason to do this is so I know um, how long the burn's going to be and that's more or less when to start it. Uh, but my the ship is so big and unwieldy that I've actually only got these reaction wheels doing anything, you know, the reaction and, and some RCS uh, at this end doing anything. So maybe what I could have done is put some RCS at the back end or something. And I now need to go for it. I, mean, I was actually a bit late because I was fiddling with the... Um, Thing, but good. I've got a good pilot. Um, so I'm just going to get him to, to poke prograde. It's taking an awfully long time. I don't think I've got much thrust at this point. But um, I think I've got enough thrust. I hope I've got enough thrust. If I don't have enough thrust, obviously it's all bad. Yeah, no, I think I think we I think we're all right. I mean, I'm after my apps, so I'm technically falling out of the sky at this stage. But. There we go. It's above the atmosphere. That's all that matters. It's not massively circular, but I don't care. Do it here. So I'm going to chuck another over there. The purpose of this is to get me into the moon orbit, and then I can start adjusting it and seeing. Speaking of which, set as target. Um. And seeing if I can't get myself a lunar encounter. There we go, this one. Alright, we'll go with that. Um, okay. Now that is basically just a um I'm gonna I'm gonna quick save. <laughs> go to about 15 seconds out and then start the burn. And take it off. I would quite like to be able to... I think it is just going to end up being... So I've actually, I've actually over... I've overestimated. I actually have more fuel here than I thought I did. Um, quite a lot of fuel. 
I'm actually reasonably tempted. This might. I wish I'd kind of. Hmm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the fuel I've got, even though it's in fuel tanks I don't need, and fuel tanks I could, in theory, chuck back to the planet. Um, oh, I need to also pay attention because I'm about to have to hit the van. Uh, but I actually almost like the idea that I've, I could I could leave these tanks in orbit for, you know, orbital refueling. Um... I am so actually this I've really really either 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 the one of the calculators I've got might be wrong or I'm using it wrong uh, because I am I'm doing this a whole extra stage um, there's a whole extra stage I'm not using and we'll just uh, ease into. Well, I'm still getting my moon orbit. It's not quite the one that it thought I was going to get, but I'm still getting it, so that's fine. Right, so I actually have a whole extra stage that I don't, that I'm not using um, at this point. So this great, big, huge, enormous back end, I do not need. So I'm, I may have to go through my calculations. So I'm not throwing them away. Um, yeah, because according to this, you need about uh, 4.7 um, thousand meters per second to get into orbit. And uh, my calculation said that stage was only 4.8. And yet, I've got enough to get myself really close to the moon. Um, I'm not going to do anything fancy like try and get into pink orbit there. Um, I don't think it counts. I think I need... Um, that is for a, a sat you want a satellite in that, or that'll be the station. Yeah, so I don't care about that. Uh, this is purely about landing on the moon and um, getting some science and getting back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a fairly big orbit here. So I don't know how much fuel I'm going to have. I mean, I've got tons. Tons and tons and tons. And it's going to be a, like a day out before I have to do that. Which hopefully will give me enough time to move my bloody rocket. Um, you know, actually, 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 I do believe it's time to say goodbye. Oh, that's interesting. That fairing uh, is stuck. Did I need to put the separator on the other side of that fairing? Oh, that, oh my lord, have I broken my rocket. Ah, this could be bad! I should have separated that bit. Oh no! So I now have a, an adapter which looks very solid at the, at the back end. Uh, I may have broken my rocket. <laughs> so that's looking awfully solid. Um,
Okay, I can't. I can jettison the whole engine. Right. I'm going to quick save, and I'm going to hit jettison. I'm going to see what happens. I'm going to quick load. <laughs> Right, so, the problem is, I may have completely balked the whole thing, because I put the... I may have... I've got a Rockamax adapter, and I put the separator on the other end of it. Whereas it looks like I should have put the separator there. So I now have a problem, which is that I'm not getting any thrust. Uh, so I may need to go literally go back to the drawing board. Uh, nuts. I appear to be an idiot. By appear to be, I mean quite clearly am. Doing something. Don't know if, I, if I'm actually doing. Estimated burn five days. I think. I think Houston, we may have a problem. Well, isn't that in irritating? Uh, I didn't want to do that. Uh, oh, and I can't revert the flight anyway. Ah, uh, broken it. Um, because of quick save, you can't, you can't, re you can't um, revert the flight. Um, let's get rid of some of this debris, though. Oh, I can't. Well, I can recover that. Color me surprised. Well, the other thing to do um oh oh fly it. The other thing to do is to think if I've engineered this such that I had a whole stage in hand um Well there is one other thing I can try. And that's to see if there's anything that can be done. It's going to hit another quick save. And we'll get an EVA. And lose the spaceship almost immediately. No, I was desperately hoping there's I could do a thing uh, at an EDA, but no. 
That would be too simple. So now to get back in, which where's the good hatch? Oh, there we go. Whoa! Oh, you can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe in you. Why? Why did he not? What? He keeps grabbing and then immediately um, letting go. Oh, I, that. Well, that was my fault. I hit space, and then I. Right, grab. Ah, don't let go! Why did you let go? Do you not understand that this is very important and you're going to die if you don't... Stick on the bloody thing! And then he turns off, he immediately turns off his, um... Arg! Immediately turns off his RCS. Maybe I'm going in too quickly. Oh, God damn it! Oh, he's going to die out here because the bloody game is screwing up. I mean, he grabs and then immediately lets go, and doesn't just let go. He turns off his RCS, his rocket pack, which means I don't have any control all of a sudden. Or maybe, I mean, maybe it is that I need I need to not ram into it. I need to get within grabbing distance and stop. Oh, thank God for that. Right, okay, that was exciting and fun, and not in any way horrible. Um, Alright, we're going to put ourselves towards the maneuver now. And the thing is, I do have a recovery state. I do have my return stage. Oh, that's a thing that I've got to do. Yeah, I did not put a thought to manoeuvring this thing. Great big huge long rocket um, with reaction wheels at one end and mysteriously that turns out to be hard to, to control. It's all a learning process. I'm really annoyed by, by that thing. but. Basically, what I'm going to have to do is just go to the next um, stage. Goodbye, rockets.
and hope that I have in fact got enough fuel for old function. Which I should do. I, well, I may well do. I, I seem to be. I seem to over overbuilt. Um, I wouldn't say over-engineered. Over-engineered sounds clever. Um, overbuilt. Um, my little rockets. Oh, that's that's just confusing me. There we go, that's what I wanted. Ah, that's my Kerbin apparatus, which I don't actually care about, that's fine. I was wondering why I'd put my um, maneuver node in such a weird place. All these lines and things, it's very confusing. So presumably that's th that maneuver, no, that's the difference between where it, the game thought I was going to end up and where I actually ended up. Uh, unless there's a spare maneuver no, that I've accidentally left around somewhere which I don't think I have. Right, I'm pointing in the right place. I have a rocket that may work, uh, but I have no idea um, how long it's going to take to do the burn. Oh, I see. I've, I've managed to set the... Have I not set the moon as my target? I want to set the moon as my target. No. Hmm, okay. It says my focus, that's just going to have to do. Alright, six minutes out. Well, I've learned a couple of, 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 of useful principles for um, rocket design. One is maybe make it controllable when it's a great big huge rocket, either uh, reaction wheels or RCS. And um, make sure if you're using adapter, put the separator at the right end of the bloody thing. Right, okay. So, uh, this is, I'm probably going to finish as soon as I get into orbit, and then we're going to have to see whether or not I can land with my science. Uh, going to start at five seconds out. I'm going to really... Oh, wait a minute. Those engines are even working. Right. Turn everything off.
There we go. Bloody hell. Right, somewhere, somewhere my staging got balked. Don't care. Um, that'll do. That'll do, pig, that'll do. So at my apple abscess, I'm going to bring my periapsis down. Um, but then I'm going to completely remove that node because it, I clearly clicked the wrong thing. Oh, so that's my target. Oh, my God. So I'm going to set the maneuver node, but I'm going to fire it in my next episode of exciting watch Mike from Nearly Enough Dice completely balk the moon landing. Um, give myself a nice really short periapsis. Probably a bit too short. So I'll crash into something before I get there. Uh, I go for 5k? That'll do. Close enough. Anyway, so I have been Mike of Nearly Enough Dice. Um, please like and subscribe if you've been enjoying watching me completely screw up everything. Um. <laughs> uh, you may also wish to visit us at www.nearlyenoughdice.com, which is our role playing game themed podcast and blog. So I have been Mike of Nearly Enough Dice, and until we meet again, reach for the stars. <laughs>